black and white from Lass. Yeah. Wow, we are. <laughs> Yours is infinitely cooler, though, because it has Berserk! Ah! Claire. Save Jen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Poison Pill. Yeah. Uh, Dogen? Yeah. Go Dogen. Dogen. Here you can say <laughs> the most badass way to get rid of a pill. Yeah, Jack won't let uh, Saeed take that pill. Saeed, who died, and is back to life. Yes, Never mostly really dead. Mm -hmm. Yep, mostly dead. I guess this is how we're starting this video? Sure. All right. <sighs> Did that to Maggie last night. <sighs> Oh, I, okay, I was like, her throat, Rick, no! Oh, man, this whole scene, <laughs> all this stuff. I don't know why. I never appreciate how easy it is for oh, me to just no. get out of my car. Oh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> but it's... It's Locke, right? Hey! <laughs> hey, how about that? He's got... Helen! Helen! Remember Helen? I do! So did he give up on his dad? Things are different. I do like the homage to Locke standing in the rainforest and the rain turns on and here it's... You know. Sure, that is good. I am so sick of caterers A and wedding? bands and picking fabrics for chair backs. I like this one. That one? I meant this one. You are a fairy. <laughs> what are the odds of you just running into a spinal surgeon? You didn't run into anybody. It's less than the odds of crashing with that spinal surgeon onto an island. It's true. Or Ben getting a spinal tumor. I don't know the plane out of the sky. Out of the sky. <laughs> you haven't seen Evil Dead yet. No. But I know how to fly. Chain so I don't know why. It always got me. What a way to get around. Yeah, and right. He takes his backpack too? Yeah! That's crazy. It's probably in the back of the smoke. Man. Protect Wish him. I could do that. That's that person. Oh no, Richard! It sure is. No! You ever feel anything extra for characters with the same name as you? Uh sometimes, yeah. I don't have a bunch of good ones. I have Eric Cartman. I'm a fan of the opera. It's not bad. That's not bad. The bad guy from Billy Madison. Eric! <laughs> Eric's pregnant. <laughs> Man, I thought that was like a Casio keyboard at first. That would have been pretty cool. It's like, what is his job now? Do you remember what his job used to be? Uh, boxes. Boxes. With oh, Randy. Man, Colonel. Oh, this guy. Randy. Son of a bitch. Wow. You're fired. No more boxes. Can't blame Randy too much for that one. No, that's egregious. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I like John. I know. Richard, I'm sorry I hit you in the throat and dragged you off the beach, but I had to do something. Tell that to Maggie. John's a candidate. Or at least he was a candidate. What do you mean? You've been doing everything he told you all this time, and he never said why? <laughs> Richard, please. Come with me, and I promise... I'll tell you everything. Or go back in the sack. Yeah. Sure Every fan wants this. <laughs> tell us everything. There's a little boy covered in blood in the jungle. Indeed. But Jacob had like reddish hair, right? Uh, it was like a dirty boy. Strawberry blonde. blonde. Yeah. Mark Pellegrino. Who was uh, in Dexter, his wife's Ex-husband, remember him? The shoe, remember in Dexter? Oh, yeah. yeah, that was the same guy that plays Jacob. He just left and told no one anything. Am I interrupting? He said he's very disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what happened to them. There's a fairly reasonable chance that you won't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> and he killed them right before my eyes. Did it kill Jacob as well? That was me. Yes. <laughs> you will become more powerful than you can ever imagine. Maybe. It is playing that Jacob music. That's not Drive Shaft. 
It's not. It should be. Hello, James. <laughs> That's a John Locke hello. Yeah, just that subtle shift of his smile it gets me still. Motherfucker. That's a... That's a shot. <laughs> Hospitality. That's some uh, dirty underwear. You sure as hell ain't John Locke. What makes you say that? Because Locke was scared? Even when he was pretending he wasn't? <laughs> Takes a con man to see the con. Well, I guess I better put some pants on. <laughs> I love these two together. What was he doing in Australia? Trying to go on a walkabout. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he wants to. He yeah. wants you to. Ah. Oh. Oh. Well, that's. That's. I'm really sorry. They were supposed to reserve a spot for me, so you know, I just parked here. Does he own? This box company? It's the second time Randy's worked for him then, because he worked at the chicken place. You're right. I own a temp agency too. Call this number. He owns a temp agency. Do check temp agencies make money or are they just never thought about it? Yeah, they get commissions from the companies that they place workers in. Oh. Crab eater. We need to bury him. Ocean's right there. Barrel at sea. What were you doing? It'll come right back. Not far off. <laughs> what the hell's that? Oh, he can see him too. Smoke monster trip. <laughs> I love it. Don't tell me what I can't do. That's not your line, my friend. Don't tell me. Is that the game master? Look, whoever you are, you got about 20 seconds, and then I'm out of here. Richard has become Mikhail, running off into the woods. You ever catch up with a kid? What kid? Right. Oh, clarity. Let's get on with it, shall we? May I speak to your supervisor? I'll go get her. She just comes back with a hat. <laughs> Mustache. <laughs> what do you know about realistic? I have cancer. Terminal cancer. Mice and men. You know that one? Nope. A little after my time. <laughs> he shoots Lenny in the back of the head. Well, that doesn't sound like a happy ending. Yeah. <laughs> it would be such a shame to turn back now. He really picked the perfect face. <laughs> Mr. Echo also would have worked. Yeah. Yeah. Hard agree. <laughs> The penis wouldn't be half bad either. Ah, oh, you're right. <laughs> Screw the other two. He's stuck this way. Can't change. Can you put him in the pool? With Saeed? Mm. Nikki and Paolo, they're here too. Don't forget them, Rick. I know you want to. <laughs> I was trying to think of their names. There's a bunch of diamonds here. Yeah. But also Boone and Libby and... Everyone we've lost. The Marshal. Mr. Echo. And now John Locke. I thought he was eaten by bears. No. He was killed by the smoke monster. Yeah. John Locke was a... a believer. He was a man of faith. He was a much better man than I will ever be. And I'm very sorry I murdered him. <laughs> Oh, it's one of the best eulogies of all time. I love it. <laughs> so earnest. It's the weirdest damn funeral I've ever been to. <laughs> I was, uh, I was calling Dr. Shepard. Hey, you know what? It's good. Delivering your lost luggage? Hey, you got his luggage. Yep. Just a bag full of money. <laughs> yeah, and I sat there yelling at them, shouting at them that they couldn't tell me what I can't do. But they were right. Season one, episode four. But I don't want you to spend your life waiting for a miracle, Helen, because 
There is no such thing. Now we go down. Down where? Down there. Ooh. Yeah. Ugh. I wonder <laughs> how often he takes the ladder. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> this looks so old. There's no fucking way I do this. It's cracking. I can hear it in the sound. I definitely wait till he's off. Yeah, at least take it one at a time. It's like climbing those steps upstairs. Back up. <laughs> you need to switch ladders halfway. Oh my god, fuck that. It looks amazing. Yeah, it does. Oh, well. Drake! Huh. Just keeps failing his climb check. Inside joke. That's why you're here. Twenty-three Shepherd. That James Zyren. is why you're all here. Reyes. Jarrah. Sixteen. Yep. Oh, suicides. Oh. Yeah, good temp lock. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about the human reproductive system. You gotta have like a master's to teach. I think he's a uh, he's a substitute. Yeah, but still. I think for for my school district, you only needed to have like a bachelor's to do back substitute. in the day. Yeah. You need a master's now. Now, gotcha. Tea. Now there's a gentleman's drink. <laughs> I love those two together. <laughs> Quan. 42. Why are all the names crossed out? They're not all crossed out. There's a lot of names crossed off. 42, Quan. I don't know if it's Sun or if it's Jin. Pushing you to the island. But why? Why the hell would he do that? Possibly your name will get crossed <laughs> out. Poor John. Are you ready to go home? Hell yes. Terry O'Quinn can smile with just his eyes. A John Locke episode. In name only. Well, <laughs> half of it. Half of it. We had an alternate John Locke. Who still broke his back, yeah. despite considering, I mean, like, wanting his dad at his wedding. Mm -hmm. So it seems like that happened in some other way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Helen uh, was the one, right? That was like, and your dad. Oh, well, yeah, Helen yeah. was like, you need to choose between me and this vengeance for your dad. The big thing seems to be that he's with Helen still. Yeah. Which, if we think back on John Locke's long, sad life, that's the one thing I, I always think back on. Like, like, dude, you just, you weren't, a, like, he was, like, punishing himself because he's he hates himself so much. And here, at least, he has someone to tell him, hey, you don't have to hate yourself. There's, there's a good person in there. And you don't have to walk to be able to be that full person. So... That's my favorite part about watching this. He's still, you know, he's not the John Locke we know where he's, like, full of hope. The John Locke that we know might look at that card from Jack Shepard and be like, this is it. This is my destiny. Sure. What are the odds? What are the odds? But this one's just like, eh. Well, yeah, Sawyer says when he's talking to John. Yeah. Like, even when he was acting brave, he was still he scared. He was scared. I love that dynamic between those two. The, the two con men, right? In yeah. a way. Terry Quinn can have a dynamic with everybody, but I also love the dynamic with him and Ben. Even that's that very small scene at the school. Yeah. They just have a complete different energy, but it still feels so good. Together. Even John as a corpse in his eulogy scene. Oh my god, it's one of the best scenes ever. Because Ben, you know, he's he's wrapped up in all this. And he like when he's looking down at John's body, he has like a real moment of earnesty. Yeah. John Locke was a man of faith. And a better, better man, man than, me. than me. I'm sorry I killed him. <laughs> murdered him. Yeah, I'm sorry I murdered him at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I think in terms of length and quality, it's one of the best eulogies that everyone given. It's pretty good. 
<sighs> and that's why I love this show so much because it's on its on the paper, and when you look at those lines, it's ridiculous. But then it's delivered by an actor that can pull it off, and there's just enough suspension of belief where you can be like, "Yeah, that's exactly what that guy would say." Uh, candidates, Rick. We've learned about candidates. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing new there, really. No, not really. Like we've known, like John has always thought himself as like a protector of the island. Yeah, like and it, it needs protecting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So like, and he put himself as the leader of the others, but not knowing that he was actually a candidate to replace Jacob. Yeah, yeah. And it seems like they're never. Did Jacob replace someone else? Or is Jacob the first? Like, it seems like that little boy mm. set up this game yeah, and picked these two playing pieces, Jacob sure. and the other guy. Because he had that line where he's like, you broke the rules or whatever. Yeah, like you're not allowed to kill him. Not allowed to kill him, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So Sawyer can see him? Sawyer. Is that because he's a candidate? Uh, who didn't see him? It was Alana? No. Well, Richard. Yeah, Richard didn't see him, yeah. Because he's not a candidate, maybe. Maybe. Richard's special, but maybe not like that. Yeah. We did have a bunch of names up on the walls. Many of the names crossed out. Like, I don't know how many there were total, but oh, there's a lot. Yeah. Probably more than it was on the plane. Yeah, like hundreds. Yeah. Probably. But we do have some there, and they do correspond to certain numbers. Sure, the keyboard numbers. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's Which, interesting yeah, to think. Like, there's no way that was planned from the beginning yeah. of the show. Yeah, I don't think. It's just a nice way to tie it in. It's a mystery box, like, trying to throw up, like, hey, also this. But, I mean, those numbers, you know, if they're just about the candidates and who's left at the end of the game, then why was there a number station doing them that made Lenny go insane and then gave Hurley bad luck? You know, there's still a lot of mystery to them, but this is a uh, the beginnings of an explanation, in a way. I, I like when mystery boxes especially... They throw you a little bit of crumbs, but those crumbs might be going here. They might be going this way. You have to kind of just look around, follow. It's fun that way for me. Um, yeah, the biggest mystery for me is, is like, why two timelines? Yes, why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, no, uh, like, what's the reason for it? Right? Yeah. right now, we can appreciate what it does for the characters, sure. right? Because the show is called Lost, and... Every single one of them that we've met so far were lost in their lives. And now we're seeing like a second version, like another chance. You know, we talk about, you know, dead is dead or uh, you can't change the past. Yeah. But we seemingly are seeing these characters confronting something. They think, well, if I just did this, then life would be good. Oh, yeah. It's really fun. Like when we watch Better Call Saul, you're like, what would have happened? What would have happened? If yeah. this character had made this choice and yeah. we get to see it. We, we do. And we get to see that, like, even the one thing that's like, you know, Locke, maybe his biggest regret is Helen. We get to see him. He's with Helen, but he's still not happy. Yeah. You know? And I, I like to think about that a lot. I like to think about, like, I, there's one thing. If I had this right now, then I'd be happy? No. Then I have another problem. Sure. So He needs to find acceptance. Yeah. To be happy. You know, both with, with Locke... Uh, you know, he doesn't believe in miracles, but the lock that we that we know, he's that same guy that has experienced a miracle. He can walk again. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, you, I I can love that and also know that like, but why are we seeing it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's there's some reasons. <sighs> We're gonna answer a lot of these questions, but we had to see Randy Nations one more time. <laughs> Which Hugo, the head of a box company, I think he said one time earlier. Uh, before this, that he actually did own a box company, but not in the context of talking with Locke. Yeah. So we knew that, but we never knew it so much until now. And we do need to think that Randy also worked at Mr. Cluck's in the original timeline, too. So why would Hurley have him as manager in two spots if he's a douchebag? Yeah, especially if he knows. Yeah. Maybe he's, he's just a, a really good manager. He's a douchebag, but he gets numbers? Efficient. I don't know. Maybe he's efficient. Maybe Randy's awesome and we're the jackasses. <laughs> but i tell you what. He's right. He should have fired that guy for essentially taking company money and doing jack shit with it. Yep. He didn't even go on the walkabout. He told Boone he did. Do you remember on the plane? Yeah. Yeah, he, he lied to Boone. So, he's, you know, the John Locke that we knew before the island, he was kind of a, uh, 
you know, he would lie a lot to Helen. That's what made him lose Helen. But sure. at the very least here, he's being a little more honest. A little. It's like just he, that, that honesty is still sad. Yeah, like he lied about the conference. He did. It, well, I mean, I guess not. He said he didn't learn anything. Yeah. Which isn't a lie. Yeah, it's not, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he still has that fear in there, that fear of... If I push myself too far, then I'll, I will see the limitations of being in a wheelchair. And that's something that the lock on the main timeline, and it's not lock, but has his face, doesn't have. No fear. Yeah. Uh, we also did get a little bit of a, a Alana, who knows something about this, says that he can no longer change his face. Did you catch that part? No. Yeah. Um, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, there's a scene in here. I think you were writing something down. I gotta find where the scene is. It's Alana right here. What's to stop what go. they're up against from changing his face? He can't. Not anymore. That's all we get. Huh. So Ben asks, like, you know, because we know we've seen the smoke monster become his own daughter. Yeah. Um, and we've seen various other people wandering the island that are dead, which seems to have been one of the abilities of the smoke monster, but Alana says no longer. Yeah. So what's changed? Uh, he seemingly broke the rules. Yeah. So maybe. Jacob was punished is, yeah. by losing a power, or he needs to be in a set form in order to escape the island. Maybe, yeah. Uh, but we saw him as a smoke. Yeah, he can still turn into the smoke monster. Yeah. He just can't look like anyone else but John Locke now. Yeah. It seems to be the, the case. I like to think it's just because we need to use Terry Quinn, Quinn as much as possible. So sure. why not just write the rule? <laughs> yeah, I mean, my only guess is like he needs to be stable to leave the island, which yeah. is what he seems mm -hmm. like he wants to do. Yeah. But. Yeah, there are rules and, yeah, maybe a consequence of breaking that rule, I would say. I thought maybe you didn't catch it, but I did not. We got it now. Can't change his face. Why would you? It's a pretty good face. Mm. I mean, I would pick Boone, but... <laughs> Richard also not too bad. You said that... Do you have an affinity for Richard in this? Uh, you talked about, like, someone with your own name? Oh, a little. Yeah, yeah. I like Richard. Like, he seems like he knows what's up. He seems earnest. Yeah. Like, he's always, like, every single scene, he comes in like this. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. like, I mean no harm. Yeah, he's he, he doesn't come across as dumb. Some of the characters, I mean, like, Sawyer is incredibly intelligent, but yeah. he also would do dumb shit. Sure. You know? Like, Richard is, he's not dumb, he's very trusting. He's very trusting. He's He seems to be, like, a tool that's being used. Yeah. And, like, seemingly tragic backstory. Or, like, yeah. PTSD or something. Yeah. Like... It seems like Jacob freed him from some terrible yeah. thing. We talked about chains, yeah. and we know that he's incredibly long-lived. Which is what Jacob claims to be as well. Like, mm -hmm. he, it's been so long, he doesn't know freedom, and he was once a man. Yeah. He was. The smoke monster was once a man, once a man had all those emotions. He claims... He Jacob's claiming to protect the island from something. Yeah. And Locke says there's nothing to protect it from. Which we do see in the other timeline. It is underwater. It is underwater. So like the world's not over. Yeah. Yeah. The world's not over, but mm -hmm. the island is no more. Yeah. What's it mean? That Don't. scene in the beginning, when Locke is coming out like of his van, and then his ramp stops. Oh. So then he tries to GTA it. God. And then he falls, and then the sprinklers hit, and then Helen comes yeah. out. I know. It's you a know, roller coaster. it's a roller coaster because you're like, <laughs> motherfucker, can this guy be happy once? <laughs> And then when Helen comes out, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I like the way the show, especially this season, will will prey upon what you think you know. Sure. And then tell you the little thing that's different, but then ultimately everybody's still lost and unhappy. <laughs> yeah, like Rose shows up. Yeah. She has a job. Yeah. Like a supervisory role, but she also still has terminal cancer. Because she's on the island, yeah. She has, everybody still has all of their trauma. It's just they think that they're better suited to with it, right? Yeah. And something about that timeline change is the reason, like, a lot of these things are different, right? Like, it's, it's got to be some type of butterfly effect. Like, yeah, Locke, he has the thing, choices that you thought you made, but never really choices. Like, Jacob sure. makes you feel like you have choices, but... He's pushing you. Yeah, but the smoke monster is saying that, well, he's just manipulating you. He's the puppet master. But, like, in this other timeline, there is no Jacob. There is no island. And people are still making choices... But they still feel trapped, you know? Yeah. Just like the smoke monster, as he says, I'm trapped. I'm, I don't want to be here anymore. They over there are also trapped in a, in a certain way. So there's little things that we can kind of, you know, use the flash forward. We still have the question of why? 
But we can look at it and try to mirror these characters in different, you know, <clears throat> points of view. Yeah. And we're just getting started, Rick. We're only on episode four. I mean, just getting started. <laughs> there's, season six. There's so much. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. There is still so much to learn and cover in this season that we'll talk, we'll talk about and we'll go back and you'll think about everything in Lost. Next four episodes are going to be doozies. Make sure you go to patreon.com slash blindwave. Check those out right now.